everyone, and welcome back to Building Nations. I know it's been a little while, but we are here once again in the city of Weiratank, ready to get this wrapped up once and for all. I hope this is the last episode here, well, at least for a while, you know, getting this mountain on top will effectively finish the entire city, so that'll be very cool. Though there are some, you know, minor things I can do. Maybe I want to add a little more around here, whatever. But getting the mountain done is the most important thing, so that's what we're going to do here in this episode. All right, and right off the bat, you can see I had to make another line there to <laughs> connect it to the top just to make it easier. And that's something that will probably come up later as well. But making smaller segments makes it so much easier to build a shape like this. And it's kind of insane the difference it makes. But the process for doing this, just filling it in, uh, really isn't, there's nothing too much to it. It's just a lot of seeing what should go where and then putting it there. Um, trying to make gentle, um, gradual changes um, in like elevation, uh, while also not making sure, while making sure that it's not too steep or too gradual or anything like that. Um, but it's really not a particularly complicated thing to do. And even this side looks okay. Um, it definitely gets, like it starts out pretty good, then it gets worse, and then it gets much better. <laughs> and you'll see that as we go on, but I'm um, just filling in the space here. You can see a lot of my problems start coming in where I take on a large segment like this and I try to make it match up to the sides of the lines rather than trying to make it connect between the lines, if that makes sense. Because you see a lot of this like sagging motion, which works. I mean, it looks good, but it creates a lot of problems when the mountain is steeper because it makes it so like the parts where the lines are is like further out from the rest of the mountain which doesn't really look that great <laughs> and you'll see a lot more of that as we go on um, I like have to cut out some of the lines and stuff um, just to make it fit more but the smaller segments definitely help and I do something else later that will help as well and I will talk about that when we get there but for now, mountains. <laughs> and these are coming to the newest version of Minecraft. Now isn't that something? Minecraft 1.17. They're already out in Bedrock. Uh, you can play them there. They're not in Java yet. And it'll be interesting. Because it'll be kind of weird to see that, you know, I made a mountain. But there are mountains that look as good as the one I'm going to make. <laughs> that are just going to naturally generate. Which is crazy to think about. And I'm really excited for it. I really want them to come to Java. I'm not going to update this world until World Edit comes out because I really like having World Edit, even though I don't really use it a lot here. <laughs> and I choose to build this by hand to make it look better. Uh, and I think it does, but yeah. Um, here you can see a lot where the sagging problem comes in because the sides are much, much higher than the middle. And <laughs> that doesn't really look all that great. You can see I do a couple of things, but I have to make some like overhangs and stuff, which doesn't really make sense for the mountain, so it, it didn't really work out that well, uh, doing it that way. But you can see building it up um, using smaller segments, creating lines to go in the middle, um, even if I don't build them all the way to the peak, helps a lot as well. Um, it also helps prevent that sagging that I experienced a lot earlier because the line in the middle means that it'll sag like half as big instead of over the whole segment. And that looks a lot better. Um, yeah, it it does look pretty good. Um, the back side of the mountain itself is probably the least good looking side. I think it's just a little too steep generally in the back and too flat. Uh, if I had made it a bit more curved, I think it would help. And you can see I try to do a little bit of that um, here in this segment, but it just doesn't end up working out the way that I want it to. But again, adding that line segment in the middle helps. But you can see that it also created some problems because it made a very like uniform segment that just goes all the way to the top. 
Um, and that it doesn't look bad, and you'll see that in the finished product. It definitely doesn't look bad, and it'll look a lot better once I start putting stuff on top of it. But it doesn't look as good as I think it could if the mountain was curvier at the bottom. It just needed to curve outward. Um, and yeah, that's an important thing to think about as well, that there's going to be more to it than just stone. I think there's going to be snow, there's going to be trees, um, different types of rocks as well I'm thinking about. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do that, but it's just something that I'm thinking about, like trying to work out what it's going to look like as I do it. Um, just because it will help the shape. Okay, so here you can see that I made a line across the segment as well. And that helps out so much. <laughs> it makes it so that there's no sagging at all pretty much because I'm building out to the line instead of like that line being a big curve down. And that makes it look so much better. It also makes it easier to build because I have smaller segments to work with. And that connection just helps it out so much, having that line there. Um, so if you're doing anything like this, I highly recommend building a line across your lines as well, um, instead of just using the ones from the ground up. And again, adding in um, more lines from the ground up also helps as well. Um, but I think lines across are even more important than lines up and down. And it just makes it easier to fill in the shape, too. I mean, it not only prevents it from looking bad, but it also makes it easier to fill in in general. So, highly recommend it. Here, on this side, uh, the shape was kind of strange. It kind of curves inward instead of outward, which doesn't really make much sense to me. So, I ended up um, changing the initial lines that I went that placed from the um, top to the bottom changed those, brought those outward a little bit uh, just to make it easier to curve the mountain and make it have a better shape instead of the shape it had when I first made it. And I feel like I could change the shape inside as well a little bit, um, but I don't think I'll end up doing that right now or in the foreseeable future just because that's a lot of work and I want to get on to other things, you know. I want to get on to making the mountain itself look better before I, you know, deal with the stuff underneath. So yeah, um, but the other, the process just keeps going. Um, these last two segments, I don't think I do anything particularly special, but it is nice to see the progress as the mountain completes. And while we're here, some interesting little trivia. Uh, the back half of this video, and where we are right now in the time lapse, was recorded about two months after the first part. You see, I don't know what, what happened exactly, but I just kind of like was building it, you know, and then I lost a whole lot of motivation, so I stopped. And then like two months later, I got my motivation back, so I kept going, and here we are. And I hope that it, my motivation lasts for a while to get this built better. Uh, but who knows? <laughs> Maybe in a week or so, I don't won't feel like doing it anymore, and I'll just go back to The Witcher. But yeah, but The Witcher has been fun, so... I'm not upset about that at all. <laughs> I've also been playing uh, Bravely Default 2 recently. It's been a good game. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. And the mountain itself is pretty much done. Well, I did it. <laughs> There's now a mountain here where there was not one before. And it looks pretty good. I am happy with the general shape here that has been created. But I've been thinking about this a bit more. And I think that we can add some smaller mountains that come off of this as well. Because especially from this side, it is certainly a large mountain. <laughs> but that's not really how mountains are formed, you know? Like, they don't usually just form with one large peak and then nothing else. So I feel like we can add some smaller peaks around. Nothing crazy, but just enough to kind of make it make more sense, especially from ground level. And even like down here, right, when you look up at the mountain, you can only really see the top of it because the terrain kind of blocks it. So I think we might cut this terrain down some and add in some smaller peaks around, um, but we can also use the existing terrain to kind of form some other mountains, um, so it'll make a bit more sense there. 
but I just it just doesn't really make sense to me to have one very large mountain and nothing else. So I'm going to add some smaller peaks in there and we'll see what happens. These first two mountains here that I'm going to make at the start are both the most difficult and most important mountains, I think, in the entire thing. Even more important than the big one on top. Because they really kind of set the attention for what's going to be happening throughout. Just having these imposing mountain tops on this like opening into the mountain itself is really cool. And I really like the way that they turned out. But because of the terrain that was already there, and because of the way that I made the entrance around that terrain, it was kind of difficult for these to be made in the first place. Terrain is definitely something that should be made before the city is constructed, and if I didn't intend on changing the existing terrain, it would have made sense for me to keep it where it is, but because I wanted to, because I ended up changing it, I feel like I should have waited to build the actual entrance until I had at least a general idea of where these mountains were going to go. So that's just something to think about the next time I guess I decide to do this. Um, well, I don't know when that will ever be, but something to think about. Um, another thing to think about is the space between the mountains, because that's going to be an area where I'm going to put like snow kind of like moving down, because that's where snow would like naturally fall. So I think that's a good place to um, put some snow moving down, um, with, especially if it's like a narrow space, like a nice little narrow gap would look really good. Um, around the back here, I decided that, you know, I had enough of placing blocks by hand. This area was going to be like, I just needed to get a lot of blocks down quickly. So I just decided to go with world edit and build up a nice mountain. I did, you know, smooth it out by hand because that looks better. Um, but yeah, I do think though, these, the mountains I made with world edit don't look as good as the ones that I made by hand, but they are faster. And if I didn't tell you that they were made with world edit, you wouldn't really be able to tell as much. You would just think that I didn't do as good of a job by hand. So <laughs> I think if you have access to world edit, I say go for it. Uh, it definitely makes it a lot easier, but I do recommend smoothing it out by hand in the end afterwards. All right, while it's not, you know, done, <laughs> it's not anywhere close to done, I do like the amount of progress that's been made. and. Adding these tiny mountains around the outside looks so good. <laughs> I really like the shape of this, and I think we can do even more with it um, in the coming days. But for now, I think I'm kind of running out of time here, so I still want to add more tiny little mountains around the outside. Um, but I don't know if I will show that on camera because it's not that important and you've seen me do it. A whole bunch already um, but I'm thinking I want to add a couple smaller ones going through here and getting bigger as they go toward this thing uh, maybe a, another one to replace that little strange outcropping um, and then I don't think I'll add any more around here but I definitely want to do something on this side as well uh, just getting those shapes in and we will detail them later but for now I'm going to leave this here. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed, comment any feedback you have for me, and I'll see all of you later. Bye.